Hey everybody, welcome back to my garden. And I just got back from vacation last night and I've been gone for about two weeks and I noticed there's quite a bit of change in this growth tent. Let me zoom back a little bit, you guys can let you really see. Things have been growing in here for about three weeks now in this deep water culture. It's basically a five gallon bucket with an with air pump that's being pumped into all three of these containers. And I really like that it shows you just how much water was left in the container so you can see just about done. I'm going to have to fill this thing back up really soon. So the tomato has just exploded in, in growth. Look at that. It went all the way up. And you can just see just how intense and hot it is at the very top over here. It's drying out these plants. So I'm perfectly fine with that because that just means it's stopping the plant from growing vertically up and instead it's going to grow horizontally. And put on all of these suckers. You can see a ton of them growing. There's a lot of flowers. I was hoping when I came back I was going to have a ton of flowers and on this thing before I left actually so I was hoping I was going to have a lot of strawberries. Strawberries, what am I saying? Tomatoes growing. And unfortunately they all wilted away. I'm sure it's due to the fact that it's not, um, it's really hot in here and I gotta figure something out with that. But in the meantime things are doing well. The pepper plant is doing amazing. Look at how big this thing got. This is the orange cigarello pepper plant. And same thing, I had a ton of peppers that were growing, they were flowering over here and they were getting ready to grow. And unfortunately, with me being gone, nothing got pollinated and they all bolted away. You can see right over here is a perfect example. But today, there's one flower right there that's gonna pop open tomorrow. And on this side, let me try to get around. You can see right there that the flower opened up. I already pollinated this thing this morning, so you just want to come in. Any type of like shake or movement will pollinate this thing. It lets the pollen move around, and that's all that's really needed. So unfortunately, I wasn't here to do that. I would have had a ton of peppers that were growing, but in a, in a way, it's actually a good thing. So it let the plant develop more leaves and get a little bit larger instead of forcing all its energy into producing those fruits. So in a way, I'm pretty happy actually, and you can see the water level is about halfway down right now. This thing, I think I filled it up uh, four gallons, it's, and this is a five gallon container. So it holds in quite a bit. Four gallons is pretty good to start off with, and it should last me probably another month or so of this plant growing before I have to do any type of refilling. The one in the back, unfortunately, oh, I should actually also mention, when I came in, this pepper plant got so large that it completely fell over and it was laying basically down this way. You could see it even snapped right over here, so I just lifted it up. It seems to be doing all right, it's still growing, putting on a lot of new new leaf growths and flowers that are forming. So overall it's doing well. Now that I'm back here, I'm gonna be taking care of this plant as best as I could. May even change the nutrients in it. See, I'll, miss, I'll see how it goes. Uh, the one in the back, you can see. Pretty much dead, guys. I'm hoping it's gonna bounce back and trying to give it some love. So we'll see before I can quickly cut it down and get rid of it. Let's see, hopefully I can save it. But now looking too hot. So, yeah. I'm not sure anymore if that's the green renaissance or the black renaissance. It's one or the other between the, these two. So when the, when the strawberries, why do I keep saying that? When the cherries start to grow, we'll see what it's going to be as it grows in. I'm noticing a bit of uh, nutrient deficiency happening. You can see these little spots that are forming. I'm going to have to take care of that. Let's take a look at the roots, see what the roots are looking like. So they look pretty good actually, really healthy. The not sure what's going on right there, all that white fuzz, that might be some type of bacterial infection. I'm gonna have to take a closer look at that. Looks like some type of mold, maybe. And hard to see inside the water level, but oh, there we go. Let's see. At the very bottom, I am seeing a bit. The green is just a reflection of the of the leaves so I don't see any algae but I do see like these like white little specks so I'm most likely going to be changing out the nutrients in here give it a, a nice clean wash off the roots a little bit and 
put probably four gallons, maybe three gallons, see how much it could take. I don't want to flood the older roots. I still want some air roots to be growing. Let's see what the pepper roots are looking like. So not bad. I had to actually move all of these plants from the Kratky system to the deep water culture, so that had to restart. That kind of pushed things back a little bit, but overall it's doing really well. Let's see what the water in here looks like. You can see the air still bubbling bubble really well. Yeah, the very bottom looks pretty good, so peppers are doing very good, I think. I don't have any complaints on that end. Really happy with that. Disappointed in that back tomato plant, but at least I still have one more right now. And this just gives me a chance to start a new plant. I may have even go back to doing ground cherries. I really enjoyed my last growth, and I kind of want to grow that plant again, especially in a deep water culture system. It's going to really explode in growth. So I'm going to show you guys a picture of what these things looked like when I first put it into the deep water culture about three weeks ago. I believe it was like June 20th or 21st. I'll show you a picture right there. Overall, things are doing well, so we're going to be back soon for more episodes, as always. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.